Glenel, it feels like we've had one of the most unpleasant winters in a long time, but that doesn't mean fewer mosquitoes this summer, unfortunately. And joining us live from the city with the most mosquitoes in the entire United States, it's Atlanta, is pest control expert Kim Kelly Tunis. Welcome to the Morning Blend. Thank you for having me this morning. So you guys have more mosquitoes than anybody else in America? We do. Uh, you know, Orkin creates a top 20 list every year, and that list is based on the number of services that our pest management uh, professionals perform on mosquito control services. And so Atlanta happened to be number one this year. Now, Chicago was number two, which is right in your neck of the woods. So certainly mosquitoes are a concern. The other interesting thing to note is that of those top 20 cities, 18 fell in states that had above average rainfall for 2013. So the key here is knowing that mosquitoes like moisture, they like water, and they breed in, they're capable of breeding in moisture levels of only about one to two inches. So we need to be vigilant. Why does it seem like the mosquito problem gets worse every year? Yeah, I'm not sure if the mosquito population increases or decreases. The main factor is going to be those rainfall totals. So if you, ha if you live in an area that really has above average rainfall, you're probably going to see an increase in the mosquito population. What are some of the hot spots, so to speak, both indoors as well as outdoors for mosquitoes? Yeah, let's start indoors. One of the biggest hot spots is those areas around windows and doors. If there are any gaps or openings, mosquitoes can easily exploit those to gain entry into the house. So make sure that you have screens that are tight fitting and in really good repair. Another area is going to be the garage. Mosquitoes like to nest or rest in and around the garage. So we see a lot of people getting bit when they're moving in and out of the car, moving in and out of the house. So a simple thing that you can do is close the garage door when you're not in the garage. Now outdoors, that's another story. There are a lot of areas outdoors that can be a prime breeding site for mosquitoes. The first area that I would always recommend people look at is look at the vegetation around your home. If you've got a lot of shrubs and bushes, ivy is another, another example. If you've got some thick ivy, those are places where water tends to collect and you may see mosquitoes breeding. But more importantly, mosquitoes like an area to rest. And the underside of these leaves is a prime area for mosquitoes to rest and, and live. So trim those things back. Make sure that you're reducing that potential for mosquitoes. Other things to look for, water bowls, bird baths, gutters, downspouts, areas that hold moisture are areas you're going to see mosquitoes breeding. I have kids, oftentimes they leave their toys out. Maybe you have a kiddie pool, a tire swing. These are also areas where you get water that collects, may sit for two, three days or better, and so you may see a lot of mosquitoes in those areas. And if you see a lot of adults outside and you really want to make an impact on that population, I recommend that you contact a local pest management company, have them come out, do a thorough inspection, help you to identify all those hot spots outdoors, and then they can create a program to help control that mosquito population for you and your family. What about West Nile virus, how prevalent it is and what we can do to prevent it? Yeah, West Nile virus, since 1999, there have been 28,000 confirmed cases. Of those, 1,100 resulted in death. So we really need to be vigilant. Symptoms present themselves very similar to that of the flu. If you think you've been exposed, you need to contact a medical professional. But remember, as a public health pest, mosquitoes also transmit encephalitis, as well as for your pets, heartworm disease. Good information this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, and remember, visit orkin.com for some additional information. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And today's morning